Stop! Hammer time! Do do do. Sorry, I'll I'll save you the pain. But I think we should just rewind. Are you taking your pets outside? Are they safe? Yes? No? Maybe? Well, here are a couple of rules I follow to ensure my pets are safe. Remember, it is at your own risk you take them outside, and this is a controversial issue. Just put your pet safety first. Everybody has their opinions, but please be nice. So, first of all, there is the weather. It should be 15 to 19 degrees. Slight cloud cover with a small breeze is perfect. Earlier on, I removed all the bird feeders from my garden to prevent lots of predators, as such as birds, being around the area. Because they could take my hamster away. And I also got rid of Tiny because she's also a predator. And any other animals, such as cats as well, should be put indoors just while they're outside. And if you sprayed your grass with pesticides, then you're not allowed to bring your pet outside, just because it's dangerous. And then I just checked that the grass was free of ants and dry, and off we went. So here are just some essentials I like to bring outside with me. So first of all, I use the lid of my old cage, because it acts as a hutch. It has mesh ventilation at the top, and a small hole which I can use for a water bottle. I like to bring a water bottle even if they're out here for only a couple of minutes just because I don't want to risk them becoming de dehydrated in the heat. I also bring a chill and chew mat just in case he doesn't particularly like the grass um, and it also make sure there are no holes in the ground for them to skate to. Bendy bridges and small little huts like this can be used um, for shade and they're a little bit fun for them and I put in his ceramic bowl just because he likes to sit in there and it's cool. If you don't have a chill and chew mat which you could use, you could also use a piece of cardboard. So I brought my hamster outside, I put him in a carry case. Never carry your pet outside just in case you drop them because they could like zoom off into a bush and you will not be getting them back. Take a hut that has their smell on it just so that they have their scent outside. Um, I would usually put a towel over half the cage, but I wanted good lighting for you guys, so um, this time I didn't, but I usually would do, just so that they're, um, they're more protected from direct sunlight. And sit with them and don't leave them because they could escape while you're gone. You might even have to let your tea go cold. Just make sure that you do not leave them. And also keep your eye on the time. I would only advise leaving them out here for about 30 minutes maximum. So they're ready to go back in. Just pop them back in their carry case and take them indoors. I don't advise taking elderly hamsters outside as they are much more vulnerable and can go into shock easily and younger hamsters as well as they have weaker immune systems once above four months old I, I would say it's okay to bring them outside so I just took him inside and put a couple of pots inside his um, little travel case and because he was really well behaved on camera I just gave him a little treat so please remember no arguing in the comments below I, I really don't want arguments um, if you have um, just any like little things you want to add, just post them down below in a nice way. And I'll see you next time.